Lynn, who comes into our, our Belay Fitness studio, is always a welcome and smile. She laughs near daily here and smiles near daily. I'm so much assuming that she doesn't hate me yet. <laughs> and, uh, but she's had a tremendous like um, success with um, weight loss recently in the past 60 days. And if you could, would you like to um, just like elaborate a little bit on like what you've been doing the past 60 days that you found to be really helpful? Well, I think the um, the biggest thing that helped was obviously working out with you, you know, approximately five days a week. But also the um, the diet that you sent, the elimination diet, was so huge. Um, and it really, I think it took my mind off of, you know, you know, instead of focusing on like, you know, oh, I want to eat that or why can't I have that type of thing, it went into like, okay, well, what can I prepare that's, that's going to help me feel better? And uh, it, it was a process. Obviously, in the beginning, I'm a very emotional eater, so, you know, I eat for every emotion. But um, in the beginning, when I first started taking away the food and, you know, just saying, okay, well, I want to eat that, uh, you know, I want to eat, you know, this, and I had to focus on, okay, well, what's good for me, what's going to make me feel better, in the beginning, it brought up a lot of emotions, like, you know, I was very angry, I was very, you know, frustrated, and it was like, okay, now feel the feeling, and then, you know, eat something that's going to be good for me. So, I mean, it was such a process, and it was such a learning curve for me that it, it was so huge. And um, so now, instead of thinking about, you know, what, you know, the bad things to eat, my focus on, you know, how can I turn that into something that is better for me, like changing recipes and thinking, you know, I can make this work for me. And that was all through that diet that you had given, you know, that you had sent the link to to me as well as the uh, cookbook. You know, like with the cookbook that came with it was, um, you know, a lot of recipes in it, and I was able to tweak them to fit myself. But, uh, I mean, it was incredible the way I feel, the way, and it just motivated me even more because I'd feel so good. And, and if I had something that, you know, was maybe a little off plan, I'd feel it immediately. And I'm like, you know what, I don't like feeling like that. So mm-hmm. it just keeps going with the motivation as, as far as, you know, I, I want to feel good. And yeah, yeah, I think two key points that you brought up are really cool. Two key words was the um, help. Because it's true, you know, you have to realize that every, you know, that most people have to realize, I should say, not you, but um, most people that every time that you eat something, you have to ask yourself, is this helping me or is it hurting me? And that's a, a huge thing. And a lot of people don't even think about it. They just kind of eat based off emotion. That was the other thing. You know, you have the emotional eating, which everyone has emotional eating. I mean, I go through it all the time, too. Like, it's, and it's hard sometimes not to, to give in. It's so hard. But then once you don't give in, you feel so happy about yourself afterwards. Right. Like, I agree. you do feel better, like, but it's amazing how you feel worse if you even do give in, you know? Yep. That's one of the, uh, to me anyway, that's one of the other things, but I agree, like, nutrition is 90% of the game. Like, I'll never deny that. Like, I'll never say, oh, fitness is way more important than nutrition. Nutrition is the absolute most important part of any success for anything, whether you're trying to gain weight or lose weight. Right. It goes either way. The, um, so that's, yeah, and it, what, it was, tw- was it 29 pounds in 60 days? Actually, it was 26 and a half pounds. 26 and a half. That's yeah. still, that's really good. That's like almost a half a pound a day. Right. That's awesome. And, like, I know I can't wait to see, like, the next two months. Like, <laughs> that's when, when you first sent me that email, I was like, oh, sweet. I can't wait to see what it's going to look like in November. Like, November 29th. It's going to be sick. Oh, my God. It's going to be just, it, it'll be more. It, but it's cool. Yeah. And it's really cool, too, for me, to, just to see someone who, like, you're very dedicated. And that's just so rewarding. That is, like, the most rewarding thing of all just to see someone who takes the information and actually puts it into practice. Because <laughs> I'm sure you've met people, that, I mean, I, I, I meet them all the time, but I'm sure, and you may even had, um, I'm not even sure what your history is with even with dieting or whatever, but, um, but you know, many people don't do it all the way. They, like, their, their, like, committed enrollment rate is half in. Like, they just half decide to do something. And then they get frustrated with half the result, but, or little result. Um, have you ever, did you ever have any problems before in the past with dieting or? Yeah, it's been, I mean, like I said, I am an emotional eater. So obviously, um, my divorce, which was obviously a very emotional time was a huge Mm -hmm. trigger for me. And that's majority of where my weight came from. And, um, I've tried everything. I've tried weight watches. I've tried, you know, only eating protein. What is it? The, um, the Atkins diet. And then the salt beef. I mean, I've tried them all. And I really do think that. 
there were, you know, obviously I was still eating processed foods and things like that. So I, I, I think right. that, that you just stay in it because you, you never really get to feel the, the true, the good. You know, you're not eating, I mean, not that I'm eating all organic. I'm trying to, but, I mean, I can't say that everything is organic. But um, I just, you know, once you get into that really feeling that good mode, it just, you know, it really just helps. I think it just, you know, it, you know, you feel good for so long. Like the first 30 days, I, I was pure, strict, and, you know, heading for it. And I think after feeling so good for that amount of time, it was like when you do step off for a little bit, you're like, oh, my gosh, I feel lousy. Yeah. I don't want to feel that way. So, and I think, and obviously a huge piece of it is, um, as well as the nutrition, is obviously coming there. I mean, the people are so much fun and, I mean, even Tina says the same thing. She's like, I love coming at 5.30 in the morning. I mean, she is not a morning person. So, I mean, it's just, you know, it's just, it's contagious. I mean, the people are great. The, you know, the workouts are fun. And, you know, the chit-chat that we have is a lot of fun. And it just, I, I mean, it really is. It's like, it is. It's, just, it's like a domino effect. It's like, okay, well, I, you know, you, you don't want to eat bad because you don't want to feel bad. And it's like, oh, well, I don't want to skip a class because... I'm going to feel like I was left out or, you know, I'm going to miss like feel like I missed something. So it all comes together that, and I think that that's what's really contributed to working for me this time because it's not like, well, I have to do this or I have to do that. It's like, no, I mean, I could take a choice and say, okay, well, I'm going to eat something that has process in it. And it's like, okay, well, I'm going to feel like junk and I'm going to feel awful. And it's like, okay, well, that was my choice. Do I really yeah. want to feel that way or not? So I think yep. it's it's a whole different perspective. Yeah. Plus, I mean, I I believe one of my main like the things I, I find to be really helpful with is just the as you mentioned, it's oh, pretty much the social support dynamic. It's so empowering. It, it helps it so much when you have people that you see on the regular who are doing the same thing you're doing, and yeah, and like you said, we make it fun, and that's right. my number one thing. I want to make sure that it was always my motto, even when I was younger, because I mean. When I was first starting out in the industry, when I was like 14, 15, 16, I ran into a bunch of like the stereotypical health club, you know, trainers. Um, and it just, they had no personality. It was very dry. It was very, oh, no, you have to eat this. You can't eat nothing else. And, you know, you have to lift this much weight. You have to do this and do that. And it was very strict. As, you know, as liberating as it's supposed to be, it wasn't fun. And, right. I mean, thank God I had my friends. We used to try and make it fun, but uh, and I went, I was made myself a human guinea pig. Went through a lot of different trials and errors with different diets and different everything over the years. Um, but that was always one of my main things. I kept telling like, wow, when I finally get the chance to be like on my own as a fitness professional, and when I finally get the chance to like you not know, have a corporate like structure over me or anything, and I can just make win changes, it's just gonna always be fun. I have to make it fun because if I'm not gonna have fun. And it's not worth doing anyway, because you know if you're not having fun at work, if you can't enjoy it a little bit, it's just, uh, you know. Yep. So, and I just that was my favorite thing. I'm like, oh, thank God, everyone in the gym has such a great personality. You all do. <laughs> you all make it so easy. I mean, I've been in the gym for years. I mean, it's just something. I mean, even before I was married, and even when I was thin, it's like it was just that's what I did. And um, I mean, it was almost like an obsession, somewhat. You know what I mean? But. One thing that I found that's so different with working out with you and the group is that you don't feel like an individual. Like if, when I was working out with the group, it was like I was going by myself. I, yeah, I may have been taking a group class, but I was still by myself. And it mm -hmm. was just, I don't know what it is. It's like because you, you you're not talking to each other. You're, it's like, you know, you've got an you know, instructor at the, at the front of the room, and they're telling you everything to do, and everybody just follows it, and that's just pretty much how it goes. Whereas yeah. yours is completely different. It's like everybody interacts. I mean, whether, like, the water bottle conversation that we had today, I mean, and that just escalated <laughs> into this, like, crazy uh, conversation that yeah. everybody took part in. So, I mean, it's a completely different. It's like you're really not alone. It's like you're, you're really with, you, you know, you are physically working out with a group, but you're emotionally working out with a group as well. 